All right, do a video diary. Um, I uh, today I'm feeling really good, mainly right now because uh, I just came back uh, from uh, drinking a bit in uh, the poor house pub again. Um, I'm uh, learning to moderate my drinking, and it feels really good. So I had like one Long Island and a cranberry uh, vodka. Cranberry vodka was first on Long Island. Anyways, um, what happened today? Um, I was um, getting my stuff over to uh, put in the storage. But I just got my car back, and after seven months of it sitting down not doing anything, it, um, it stalled, or never... I couldn't turn it on, so I had to jump it with a cab driver, and uh, hey, I had to pay him ten dollars. And he started up, and when I went to the gas station, it broke, it stopped again. Whenever I turned it off, it wouldn't start again, so I had to turn it back on. So I got somebody else to come over there and uh, jump it up for me, and then got I was full of gas, so I went over and uh, parked it somewhere. I couldn't go on base yet because I don't have the license or the registration filled out completely, and uh, the uh, the department that does the uh, base decals that fit on the window isn't here right now. So, uh, or I mean, like, is only Tuesdays through Thursdays. So I have to wait until tomorrow. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go there. Uh, anyways, today. Today. Um, so I had to park beside the base and bring all my stuff there. And whenever I parked there, I said, I bet this won't work whenever I turn on. So I tried to turn on and it didn't work like I thought it would. So, uh, anywho, I, um, Went, I went to uh, grab all my stuff, right over to the car. And I was in a hurry at this point. I was like rushing because the uh, storage unit that I put my stuff in was supposed to be uh, closing at 6.30. And I was running a little bit late because I had so much stuff to pack up. And I had a lot of trash I threw out of my old stuff. And so um, the reason why I'm also getting out of the barracks is because I'm getting kicked out, like I said before. So, um... I had, I called the cab driver to uh, give me another jump start. Of course, I had to pay ten dollars. But somebody saw me and asked me if I wanted one, and I was like, okay, sure. So I uh, got my car jumps again, and I went over to the storage. But by that time, it closed, so all my stuff was in there. Great. Now I got it. I was gonna bring it to the car dealer, but I was worried that somebody might steal something from there. But anyways, I decided to anyways. Unless, but I went to this car dealer that or this uh, mechanic place where. I trust the people, I know that they're very trustworthy, and uh, they're actually pretty cheap too. And so I went there, and um, yeah, I think it's in good hands. And I've been feeling really good. <laughs> Even though um, all this bad stuff has been happening, yeah, uh, I've, uh, I've learned to thank God for all bad and good. And so I say, um, thank you, Father, for letting this happen to me, letting my car stall so many times. Thank you for me having to bring it to the car dealer and worry about people stealing stuff from it. And uh, thank you for me not being able to get my car on base yet. And even though these are bad things, I found myself being more joyful and being more humbled after I say that and actually mean it. Uh, so I feel this overwhelming joy lately yeah, since I've been thanking God for all the bad stuff instead of just the good stuff. Both of them, yeah. Thank you both, but you know more so on the bad stuff and I feel more joyful for some reason you know I'm getting kicked out of the barracks and yeah I was having a smile on my face and I was loving it like you know for some reason I think this is a good good thing for me so right now I'm gonna try to look for somebody to uh, share an apartment with um, oh it's about to turn off power um, I'm going to do something really fast okay I just pressed the button okay anyway so uh, I'm gonna try to look for uh, somebody to share an apartment with. I heard somebody might be doing one for seven hundred dollars, a two-bedroom apartment, and in that case, if that was possible, oh shoot, it's uh, if that's possible, I'll pay that three hundred dollars, three hundred fifty dollars a month. And um, whenever you come to it, that's uh, one hundred and seventy-five dollars a paycheck, and I can afford that, so I uh, wouldn't mind that at all. Um, let me see. Anything else happened today? Oh, I have a lot of stuff that I packed up. Um, and a lot of my stuff is just thrown around in the room. Uh, oh, you know what? Here. So I won't be here much longer. 
see, there right there is a uniforms that I'll be getting. Let me like zoom in stuff. See, there's my CD case. I'll put that in storage. Those uniforms are gonna be on the ship, so I'm putting them wing over here. That shouldn't even be on there. I'm gonna push over here, but all this stuff is like scattered around because I'll be cleaning up tomorrow. Th tomorrow's my last day in here, so um, I'll be doing stuff. That stuff is gonna go on the ship, and everything on my bed is gonna be on storage. And I have a lot of stuff, and even there's my dirty clothes. I'll be doing laundry, and I'm gonna be giving away all my old clothes that I use in the military uh, on cruise. Or um, to the uh, Salvation Army. See, so there's my control cars and then a box full of stuff as well as some books. And so, uh, and then my terabyte. Anywho, it's not a bad barracks, but they become really Nazi on um, on a lot of stuff. So I feel as if since I am a rebel. I am rebel minded. Alright. Since so I am rebel minded, I really hate <coughs> that and everything. Anyway, so I'm also. Um, I'll be uh, asking uh, about tuition assistance pretty soon here. Well, not tuition assistance, but like grants and um, scholarships for college. Because I'm going to be trying to go to the Art Institute of Seattle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I figure I want to, I think I want to be a director, yeah. But in case that our institute or a director doesn't work, you know, I can always fall back to so I'm going to go into CGI, something like video editing still, you know, commercialization, anything. I mean, anything that bring money. And lately, you know, I, I bought this new, I bought this new uh, jacket, right? Put it on, work in the viewfinder, and I found out anything. Anything I wear looks really great with this, and I'm trying to. Before I used to dress really nice to, I guess, like impress women and stuff, but now I'm just looking at like five to ten years of my future. You know, I'm almost done with the navy, and I will be getting out. And I'm just like trying to. I have this mad theory. I have this mad theory that I say to myself, if I dress the way. I want to look five to ten years from now. I'll <coughs> start acting that way and hopefully get into the profession mindset. So hopefully right now I can like act more mature and, and whenever I wear this uh, high collared t shirts, you know, buttons down, looks very sexy. You know, uh, I know I look good and I feel I feel great because I feel like I, I'm looking successful, I have higher sex appeal. Uh, towards women and I feel like I'm over and beyond everybody else around here because nobody is so far I've never seen another creative genius is what I like to call myself than me and I feel like uh, in a way I'm superior to everybody else because I'm trying to be a multimillionaire and I'm going to try as much as possible to get to that point and nobody is looking at nobody ever looks at that in a way you know I'm trying to get myself situated. I'm looking at my future five to ten years already. And with all my script writing, my I'm book writing books, I'm making videos, editing, and it feels so good and I'm looking really good. I can see myself already wearing this stuff. How I will look in five to ten years, it feels so great. It feels so great. And I was like so admiring like, wow, I'm one sexy beast. <laughs> so, so it was so awesome. Just having that sense of uh, feeling and everything. So, I had a really good day today. Even though all this bad stuff happens, I've had a really good day today. And I wanted to do a little celebration of it. And I got some drinks. And it just brightened my day even more. So, um, my time is running out. I do have 10 minutes that I only go for. So, um, until tomorrow. Bye.